ham will do very nicely for tomorrow's supper and Sunday sandwiches. Well, you children certainly won't be lacking for food while we're gone. Felix King, you just wait till I get my hands on you. Felicity, let him be. Mother, you're much too indulgent with that boy. The family guide says that bad behavior must be nipped in the bud. Nipped in the bud. Yes. Well, you seem as if you can handle it all, Felicity, but can you manage Felix? Mother, as if I would let Felix or any of the children misbehave while I'm in charge. Besides, you'll only be gone two days. Aunt Hetty says that I am more than capable of running a household. Well, there's more to running a household than a well-planned menu, dear. Well, perhaps you'd all be better off if you went to stay with Aunt Hetty. Mother. You don't want to go upsetting Aunt Hetty with a lot of us now, do you? Dear, will you look at this dust? Where is the time gone? I haven't had the time to get around to my spring cleaning at all this year. Mother, spring cleaning is done in the spring, not the fall. Just wait until it comes around next year. Mother, you leave everything to me. In the two days that you are gone, I'll clean this house from top to bottom. And I'm confident that I can manage the children while I'm at it. Felicity, you are a marvel. Here's Pop with the mail. Mail from the great world beyond. Ooh. All the way from New York City. It's finally come. I ordered this six months ago. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens.